What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? This is KJ48, and welcome back to the forest. I just heard some cannibals yelling out here like a bunch of douchebags. Although, I don't see them, and I don't hear them beating on my walls, which is pretty good. Um, you guys gave me some interesting things to think about last video. First of all, someone said cannibals are climbing trees to get into my base. I need to cut down the trees that are right up against my walls. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys, I, I believe you. I think you're totally 100% right, and I think I'm gonna leave the trees up anyway. I don't mind if it gives me a little bit of a challenge. It doesn't seem to happen that often. If it does happen too often, then I cut down the trees. But for now, I think I'm going to leave them where they are because I love the... I, I've mentioned this before. The idea of having the wild... The wildness of the forest, like, just coming right up to my wall. And then my wall blocking off. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so weird. Like, my wall is blocking off the wildness. The, the the wild beyond where everything's scary and no, I don't know what's going on. And then I come over here and then there's no trees and I'm perfectly safe and it's happy and civilized or as civilized as you could be <laughs> on this island. And I, I don't know, I just like that. It's something I love about survival games that like gets to me on a like a, a, a deep level. Like the, the inside, the lizard part of my brain really like gets off on that kind of stuff. Um, the idea of territory expanding your territory and defending your territory and everything inside your territory is calm and cozy and fun and cool and everything outside is scary and dangerous and you know that's what i like about these these survival games you know like that's that's the core of what makes survival games fun for me so i'm gonna leave the trees where they are for now and if it becomes a problem i'll cut them down eventually all right so what else we got here deadfall traps one shot kill mutants someone said deadfall traps one shot mutants someone said deadfall traps two shot mutants i didn't know that either way one or two shot is pretty good pretty good with me uh so i'm probably gonna get rid of everything except for deadfall traps i'll probably keep the happy birthday traps just because i like them and i want some variety i don't want like just all of one kind of trap out there that would be too boring even if it is effective um someone else said dead period fall period traps period you can phase them through your defensive walls and then reset them from behind the wall you know i gotta be honest with you that is the ultimate defense it's unbeatable i know exactly what you're saying basically what he's saying is i can grab these deadfall traps and wait can you do it behind the wall after you've already built the wall see that's one thing i'm not sure about but i think what he's saying is when you put down a deadfall trap you put it right up against your wall and you kind of stick part of it through your wall, and then you can set it up. Uh, does he mean? He probably means like this. Does he mean like that or like? I mean, you can do it like this too. Um, so I'm thinking like probably like this would be better though. So they're saying put it down like this, right? And just put one right after the other, all up against your wall. And then what you can do is, I don't know if you can reset it from the wall. I can guarantee you I'm gonna be able to build it from inside. Guaranteed. See? Oh. Hey. Oh. Well, I could build the leaf traps. Where's, where is it? It's got to be over here, right? Wait, I can't build it from inside the wall? That seems kind of weird. I wonder if the leaf traps are the problem. Because, look, I can build the leaf traps from inside the wall. Yeah, there you go. So if I can build it from inside the wall, I'm pretty sure I could, I could set it up from inside the wall. So, yeah, that, that's a good point. And if you put those all up against the wall... You keep setting them up. Yeah, I, I might do that at some point. You know, what? I'll tell you right now what the problem with this setup is. It's too good. <laughs> Honestly, it's too good. Uh, these leaf traps are kind of a pain in the ass to set up, and I think the fire that they produce is not going to be really worth it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm only going to use the leaf traps at the door, and then I will probably set up the deadfall traps at the wall. Um, the thing is, if you set up the deadfall traps like that, you're going to have an impenetrable base. I get it. You're totally right. But at the same time, do I really want a 100% penetrable? I like the idea of shooting down from the wall. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the only thing that I like about the deadfall traps that I've got, I'm probably going to end up doing it in the long run is the fact that it kills mutants. If I could sit behind my wall without mutants breaking in, oh my god. Now you're, now you're talking. So... The fact that, that that deadfall traps can kill mutants, if a mutant's beating on my wall, I could reset the deadfall trap and probably kill the mutant outright. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to do it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it later. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, that's going to be like something I do later. All right, what else we got here? Have you ever cut the heads off a mutant and mounted them, and mounted them on the wall? Can you do that? Can you cut a mutant's head off and mount its head on the wall? I didn't know if you could. I don't see a trophy for it. Maybe Maybe they were asking. Like, do, do, wouldn't they need a specific trophy for that? Like, there's... All the trophies are specific, right? Oh, hold on. Hold on. 
Maybe I'll use those uh, leaf, leaf traps now. I felt kind of bad. I didn't um, I didn't set off the leaf traps last video. All right, so this is a garbage arrow. So we're gonna kind of just shoot that at anybody. Where'd they go? Where the hell did they go? All right, I'm just gonna shoot that down there. I'm gonna take all my arrows back too. Yeah, I, I like the leaf traps. I kind of felt bad at the end of the last video. I was like, I never, I didn't burn the leaves. But the thing is, I didn't want to burn the leaves. Um, and the reason I didn't want it, why aren't they going in here? Why can't I pick up anymore? Oh, I picked them all up. Okay, I thought there was some in there still. Um, the reason I, oh, <laughs> sucker. All right, so let's do, let's pick up one of these. Switch to that. And let's try and burn these pieces of crap. You going to beat on the wall, guys? See, they're climbing the trees. You just gonna stay in the trees all day? Really? Really? Alright, you coming down? Alright. No? Yes, no, maybe so? I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're all a bunch of dicks. You know that? Oh, hold on. What's going on over here? Nothing? God, I really want them to walk on these leaves. What are they doing? Are they hitting something out there? Wait, shh. What are they doing? There they are. Okay. I see one. It sounds like they're hitting my traps. It, they're not supposed to attack traps, are they? Oh, there they are. Hey, what's up, buddy? There you go. Yeah, walk into that. Nice try. Oh boy. Alright. Uh. Here we go. Come on, light it up, man. Why am I not lighting it? Alright, it's not lighting the thing. I'm not really sure why. Let's just kill this guy. Man, I don't know what it's bouncing off. It's bouncing off the wall, I guess. There you go. Get off my wall, bro. You're done. Look at you. And you're done. They like to they like to stand on the stumps. Oh look at look at this one. Hello. Oh nice shot. Now why wasn't this lighting? That is the fire thing, right? You pick this out and you hold down. Oh. Really? Why is this not lighting? I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Maybe you can't light him that way anymore? Thought you could. I don't know. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to light him like this. I don't know what I'm missing here, but <laughs> I guess I'll just not worry about it. Alright, let's do this. And the thing that pisses me off is I know I'm missing something obvious. Alright, fair enough. Well, it looks like the attack's over. Alright, now I'm down to business. The business... The, um... The raised... Damn it, more guys out there? Anyway, I think I want to make the raised platform on the outside here. And I think that's what we're going to do. So, um... I, I don't know where I want to put platforms. Or even if I need platforms anywhere. Uh, well, I'm definitely going to need a plat... Well, I don't definitely need a platform over here. But let's, let's see what we can come up with. I'm just going to kind of play it by ear and we'll... You know, it seems to work out for me most of the time. Alright, so... Oh, that wasn't custom stairs, was it? What did I do over there? Was it custom stairs, or was it just a, um... Or was it just a platform, uh... Like a tree bridge thing? Honestly, I don't remember. Um... That is... Tree bridge. No, that's not tree bridge. That's stair... No, that's tree bridge. I think that's tree bridge. God, I really don't remember. No, that's... That's stairs. That's stairs. Why did I use stairs? <laughs> over the tree bridge. I really don't know. It's definitely stairs, though, because the tree bridge doesn't have um, supports on the bottom. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I guess I'll stick with that. But yeah, all right. Well, let's just let's just get this. Let's get started. All right. So this is gonna come up here, and we just need to kind of put that like into the wall, but not too far into the wall, and lined up as best we can. That looks pretty good to me. And then we kind of come down here. Oh, can this only go so far? All right, well, that's, that's fine. I got no problem with that, actually. 
All right, so we're going to go to about here. And then we're going to go down to... Wow, this really doesn't go very far. Huh. I wonder if I actually use these. So I set up the entire walkway here. But um, the edge here, it looks like it's going to be over, you know, too high. Um, so I'm going to have to redo this. And on top of that, oh my god, this thing does not go straight the way you want it to. It's almost impossible to line this thing up properly. I'm almost debating even if I want to, like, put up a, a wall up here, to be honest. But eh, I think I'm... I, or not a wall, uh, not a wall, but a walkway. Uh, but I'm going to try and make it work. I'm going to need well over 100 logs, though. So I think it's time to get to some tree chopping. And uh, we're going to go up We're gonna go up top to do some tree chopping. I'm also going to put this on normal because it is the morning. And we will also turn... Nah, I'll leave that on the hell of it. Uh, the... I forget what the, what the uh, setting is called. There's a certain setting here. Um, show overlay icons. That's like the flags and all the building icons and stuff. Uh, the main reason I like to have those overlay icons on is because it allows me to see where my log sleds are. Which is like really, really important. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it on. We're going to get some uh, We're gonna get some logs down there, man. For real. I don't even think I have enough log sleds down there to hold these logs. But I'll just make more. Shouldn't be a problem. I have a lot of sticks down there. Watch out, rabbits. Grab some red paint so hopefully none of the cannibals mess with me. Oh, there. It's going to wash all off. I think it washed off instantly. <laughs> like, I barely got my arm looking around before it was washed off. Oh, I didn't even remember I had this up here. That's okay, though. Uh, we've got another three, four log slides up here. So I think we'll get to, get to some chopping. Let's do it. All right, guys, I came back to base, and they are beating the ever-loving crap out of my walls. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Let's do that. And let's light those leaves on fire. I think this is way too much setup to be worth it, but it's still pretty fun. All right, there we go. And light. All right, there we go. All right, that was pretty fun. Uh, it's too much setup. It's just, you know, it's just fun for the, for the sake of having fun. I can't hit them when they're right there. Damn it. Yeah, you try and get to me, bro. That's it. What we need to do is finish the defensive sp spikes. You see how the defensive spikes keeps them off my wall enough? Yeah, the defensive spikes keeps them away from my wall enough. It's when the there's no defensive spikes that it really becomes an issue. But there you go. That's how the, le the leaf traps work. So I was hoping I could light one of those on fire for you guys today. So that's cool. You know what the funny thing is about all this? When I'm up there chopping trees, I think it gets them riled up. And then they come down here looking for me. Even though I'm right next to them. It's so weird. That's happened the last half dozen times I've gone up there to chop trees. I come back here and there's like 50 people at my base. There was a lot of guys at my base this time. Holy freaking moly. I look. I feel like I'm missing a log. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's just weird. I mean, it's nice, because I can cut down trees without having to worry about anything. It's just... It's just odd, you know? Alright, so... How many log sleds? We're gonna need at least, uh... Probably want about ten log sleds. Yeah. I think I want about ten log sleds for this. That... When I... Like, when I made that one that it disappeared, I needed 125 logs for that. So ten log sleds will be just what the doctor ordered. Alright, and I will just make more as I come down here if I need to. Because, like, they're all full. They're full of sticks. They're full of logs. They're just I just need a lot of them, you know? 
I probably should make log holders, but is there is there any reason to make log holders? Uh, is there any reason to make stationary log holders over log sleds? I don't see why. I mean, how many do log holders holders hold? I think it's about the same. I'm pretty sure log holders hold the same as log sleds, and if so, there's no reason to make log holders because log sleds are basically log holders that are that are movable. So yeah, I see no reason to make log holders. All right, let's come over here and see how much more logs we got on the ground. Hopefully, I'm assuming we're going to see a mutant soon. Oh, another tip you guys gave me I forgot to mention is that I can run the mutants into the water. Um, does that work on the... I think that works on the river. So all I got to do is run to the river um, when I have mutant problems. You know, that might, be, that might be a cool thing to do. I think I might try that out. I wanted my base to be attacked, but man, it gets, it gets to be a bit much at times with these guys, you know? Like, it's like feast or famine. They don't come in for like a couple days. And then they just keep coming in, like, for freaking ever. It's like, don't they run out of people? I mean, they just have never-ending people. Maybe they're cloning themselves. Who knows? Maybe that's the uh, storyline. I think I might have just stumbled onto the storyline. You're a little store you're a little short for a stormtrooper, aren't you? You know? That might be the first clue. Oh my god, my guy's all tired. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You can do it. Hang in there, buddy. I wonder what he could eat on this island, that, or drink, that has any kind of caffeine in it. I guess he could make tea. Does tea have caffeine? Tea has caffeine, right? I'm pretty sure it does. I don't know. I don't know a lot about... I don't know I don't know a lot about uh, caffeinated beverages. Alright, how many do we have down there? One, two... Probably have about six, I would say. Six, seven, eight, nine... I think we have about nine total log sleds. Worth of logs. I really want ten. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna build until I get ten. Hell with that. Alright. It is daytime. Let's go ahead and turn the color grading back to original. And we have nine and a half log sleds, which is pretty good. Uh, I wanted ten. Nine and a half will do. All right, so here's the thing. I think I can make a cheaper walkway uh, using the, the, the tree bridges. I think I'm going to try the tree bridges. I tried the stairway, and it was a nightmare. Uh, just to show you what I had to go through with the stairway. Here, really quickly. I'm just going to show you this really quick. So... It was going pretty good with the stairway up to a certain point. What I did was I started like right here, you know, just did like that. Uh, you want it in the wall, but not too far in the wall. You want it a little bit lower. All right, I come down here. That's looking okay, right? That's looking all right. Uh, what about there? All right, and then I come down here, and then look at what it does. It like look at the look at the way it pops up over there. Like it's so freaking irritating. I don't know why it does that, but it's it's a real freaking headache. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do uh, tree bridges, and it's going to be difficult. It's going to be really, really difficult because I'm going to have to put them at certain places along the way with these things. Uh, let me go ahead and chop these trees out. I'm also having a hard time seeing the, uh, the, the green outlines, and I've got the... Um, I've got the ghost building unit, like, up as, I got the, uh, uh, opacacy, op, opacy, whatever the hell you call that, <laughs> uh, where you can see through it. I've got that about as high as it can go. Um, so, you know, I don't really know how I'm going to do this, but I'm thinking, like, right about there. Now, see, this is going to be tough, too. Well, let me try it with the stairs one more time. The stairs is going to be way more expensive. Well, actually, it might not be way more expensive. It might be about the same cost. But let me let me show you what I did with the stairs on this end, and we'll just kind of see where it goes. Like, I, I'm getting to that point where I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that man, it is too bright, dude. Seriously, like I can't I can't really see anything. Um, it's gonna get to the point where I'm just gonna have to say accept it for what it is, and just deal with it. All right, guys. Now this is the key part. Save. I've got something that I think is gonna work. I it's it's not gonna be as perfect as I would like it, but I'm gonna be okay with it enough. And it's going to take 127 logs. So let's go ahead and start putting some logs in this bad boy. Yeah. I, I, I Honestly, I think the tree bridge would have been just as many logs. And it would have come with just as many problems. This thing is not going to be as good as I want it to be. But, I, you know, I just got to deal with it. It's, it's the best I can do. It's going to be good enough. It's going to be good enough. We need to move on. We need to move on. Um, we'll have to put the defensive walls on the outside in a later video. It won't be next video. <laughs> I don't want to look at this wall again for a while. 
I've, I've had too many cannibals in my face today. I've had too many wall issues um, with uneven terrain, just all kinds of issues. Um, my next season, when I eventually do another season of this game, I will find a flat area to build. One would come hell or high water. Um, I want a flat area, but I also want a cliff on the side of it. I love having cliffs on the side of my bases. The problem is there's not a lot of... I don't know if there's a lot of places in this game like that. There's this one, obviously. And there's the one I built on a couple seasons ago that I showed you guys the other day. But other than those two, I don't know, like, a lot of places that have, like, flat area to build on. With, like, you know, a nice area to go up top. Maybe I'll just build it at another spot again. I don't know. Do something, do something different over there. Or I could just not build on the side of a cliff. I really like building on the side of a cliff, though. It's really... It's my thing for this game. Like, I don't know why. I just... I really enjoy it. I couldn't even, well, I don't know. I can't explain to you. I, I think I like the idea of the cliff being a natural barrier, which helps, you know? Um, and also, like, you know, it gives you, a, like, you start on the bottom and then you eventually build your way up with your building and then you can eventually get on the top of it. I don't know. I don't know. Or I could just build on a big flatland. Building on a big flatland, though, is not as interesting, you know? Um, you could build your own bases in this game and building your own bases is pretty fun. I mean, a lot of people built a lot of sick, cool stuff in this game. Um, the problem, though, is... The problem, though, is... If you build your own base on Flatland, it's just your base. Like, I like working with the terrain. Um, I just don't like working with the uneven ground. I like the cliff, but I want just flatness on top and below the cliff. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But... If I'm going to build on a Flatland, like, and not build on a cliff next season, I'll probably... Well, I'll probably build next to that cannibal camp up there. Like, right on the outside of it. I, I want to build, like, kind of on the inside of it. But at the same time, I don't. Uh, because building on the inside of it uh, means cannibals are going to spawn in your base. And I don't want that. Now this uh, staircase right here is going to be... Uh, some of these staircases are just going to be tricky to get up. We're probably just going to have to jump up them. So, uh, But there's not much I can do. That wall is so uneven. There's just, you know... Not much you can really do about it. Okay, so take this log sled next. Now don't forget these log sleds hold about 12 logs. So actually I think it's exactly 12 logs. So I'm going to have some logs. Well, I don't know, 127? Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't have any logs left over. I don't know. How many do I have left? Yeah, quite a few. Freaking the stairs, man. The stairs take a lot of freaking logs, dude. A lot of freaking logs. But they're so useful. That's the thing, you know? They're just so effing useful. We're only gonna get the we're only gonna get the staircase done today, guys, because like it's such a, a freaking undertaking. You know, getting attacked about half the video, cutting logs down for the other half the video, and then like, well that's the whole video, but probably got attacked for about 40% of the video, probably cut down logs for 40% of the video, 20% building. But it's better to be attacked. Like a lot of people are saying, oh, just turn off, you know, whatever. Turn off destruction or whatever, but no, nah, I, I, I like being attacked. It's what gives the game, you know, it's like urgency. I, really, is that all my log sets? Dude. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Let me get some more logs. So the walkway is done, except for this part at the edge. And to be perfectly honest, guys, I don't have it in me. I'll do it, uh, I'll do it next video or in between videos. So it looks like the, uh, the level here is going to be just about perfect, though. So that's good. All right, so let's... Oh, I can't get up there. Um, maybe I'll delete this and I'll put some kind of staircase up here. I'm going to deal with this next video. Let me show you what I've got, though, for the staircase. I've got I've got options with that. And the staircase came out... It came out okay. It came out okay. It's not perfect, but I can live with it. And that's all you could really ask for. So let me show you it really quickly before it gets dark. All right, so you come across here. You come right up here. Come down here. There we go. Running down here. I know there's a big gap there, but as far as I can tell, you can't fall in it. So that's fine. I guess <laughs> I've just got to deal with it and come on over here. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not perfect, but like I said, it's good enough. It is good enough. Yeah. All right. It doesn't even look like we have to jump up. It looks like we can walk straight up. That's pretty cool. I thought I'd have to jump at certain parts. Actually, came out a little bit better than I thought. It's a little mislined here, but I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> this one's mislined too, so it kind of matches. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go, guys. The walkway is finished. Next video, we're going to be working up there because I can't deal with this walkway 
one more day. <laughs> I'll come back to it after a couple of videos are building up there. Anyway, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. You know, I was kind of like looking at this spot. I was like, oh, that looks so shit. But then I was like, actually, it's going to give me some advantages over the walls. That's pretty cool. I will, I will live with it. What I can't live with is these assholes every freaking two seconds coming in and attacking my base. Like, really, get fucked. Dickhead, fuck this guy. I gotta stand back for him so I don't hurt my base. There you go. You're locked, bro. Yeah, you're dead. And I don't even think I touched my base. Beautiful. Hey, right, guys. That's the end of the video. I'll see you next time.